Hello, and thank you for watching the Kempler Design Vlog. I want to help you to fix potential errors that you may have. What you're looking at right here is the bottom of a cellular shade, and this is the Hunter Douglas Duet, and we're using their automation system called PowerView Gen 3. Gen 3, it's important because uh, different, uh, the earlier versions don't have all of these features. So you'll notice right here that there's a little handle down here at the bottom, a crank to open and close the window outside, and it's old school, so it doesn't fold down, and it causes an issue. So what's the way to resolve it? I'm gonna show you how to use the app to set limits, because what can happen here is that because of this angle, see how it's up? The cord that goes up to the top, it can start doing this or even loop. And if it does, the problem is that it can get bound up somehow and you can end up with serious problems. So you wanna make sure that these stay flat all the time and not up on an angle, especially as they're operating. So here's how you do it. Open up your app. At the bottom right, you'll see the word more. Tap on that. So what we're gonna do is use the app. And what we're uh, looking at here, you'll see where it says shades. You tap on shades. You find the one that you want to use. So in this case, we scroll down. This is a very large home with lots of shades. So right here, downstairs bathroom, that's where we are. Do not hit on the color, hit on the name. And it says shade, loading shade information. So you see all of this, it has information. You can look it over if you wanted to stop it to read it, but scroll all the way to the bottom where it says advanced options, right there. Tap on. Then what you do is go to the top where it says modify shade limits tap right there and it gives you the choice of top limit or bottom limit we're going to do it for the bottom limit so we'll hit on that and it says moving shade to current limit and it's already done so what we're going to do now is you have two sets of buttons you have the one here for uh, slow movement and this one for high fast movement. So I'm going to press and hold and let go. And then I'm going to go over and look at it, see if I like where it is. And it is literally not touching it. You know what? I'm just going to show you micro adjustments. So if I wanted to go up a little bit more, just tap that. You saw it move up just actually you may not have, you'll see it at the bottom. I'll move it down just barely. You see how it just barely moved. If I go big, I'm pressing, it's going up, stops whenever I take my hand off, going down, and I'm gonna go up just a hair. Look at it again. I'm very happy with that. And so then what you do is set limit as current position. That's the top one. The lower one says move to current limit. So we don't wanna move it to the current limit. We wanna set the limit as the current position. It saves it, says okay. So now when this shade is operated, and what we can do, go back, go back, go back until you see these, and then tap on, the, remember I said don't hit this? Now you can, and it shows you that it's at 0%, it's all the way at the bottom. Let's say you decide to raise it up. And then if I lower it all the way to the bottom, you'll notice now that the limit will keep the shade flat all the time. And that is how you set those limits and you're going to benefit greatly if you do. Now keep this in mind that this whole home has a bunch of these. And so under different circumstances, we, we may have ordered a different product to avoid that issue, but at least we have a resolution to it. Thanks for watching the Kempler Design Vlog.